Good afternoon. My name is Franz Hernández Valer. I am a master's student from Federico Villarreal National University. And in this time, I will talk about earth value method management applied to the construction of the multifamily building in Lima, Peru, 2020. The topics to be discussed during the exhibition will be, to start, I will give a brief introduction. I will show the study area and the process. And finally, I will show the result and conclusion. In these modern days, most of construction's projects in our country presents significant deviations from what is planned in time and costs, which causes increases in expected costs and delay in the delivery of the works. The delays and overcosts in construction projects are the cause of constantly concern for project developers as they can even affect the viability of this. Many of the works being built in Peru by some companies suffer large-scale economic losses without knowing for sure the main problem. These companies ignore the project management and don't have a good direction as they wait for a work to be finished to just assess the profit or loss they got. Completion of activities and at optimal time and cost plays an important role in construction projects. Recently, project managers have to decrease the total duration and costs of projects more than before due to the competitive environment. Tools are sought to reduce and solve the current situations in the sector. These companies do not have a structured way of projecting the profit of margin that carry a cost control. That's why the purpose of this article entitled Earned Value Method Management applied to the construction of the multifamily building in Lima, Peru, 2020. A system based on cost planning and control is implemented which seeks to take into account all the details of each operation that is analyzed. Being the projections, the main tool that is made in the course of the work, obtaining a more reliable result and reaching the proposed goals. In the picture number one, you can see the place of a study. In the picture letter A, you will see the map of Peru, and in the picture let, letter B, you will see the Surquillo district, which is a growing district in the city of Lima. For this research, we will rely on figure number two, where the parameters are shown according to the plan value, PP, which is the estimated value of the work to be carried out and is related to the contractual amount, the earned value, EV, which are the valuations executed and approved by the client, and finally the actual cost, AC, which is the current accumulated value incurred to carry out the work. Once these values have been obtained, the analysis of the state of the costs to date, the balance and the end of the work will be carried out. After the summary table of earned value is done, the indicators are cal calculated to evaluate the corresponding schedule and costs. For that, we will use the indicated formulas in table number one. Once the calculations have been performed according to the formulas, of earned value, the analysis of the operational reporting method is carried using the formula shown in table number three in order to see the profit and take action month by month. After words in figure number 
4, it is showed the overall amounts for items to be used in the project, the amount presented and expressed in solids as a unit of currency. There are temporary work, excavation, building structure, and else. Afterwards, in table number three, it starts by reflecting the percent planned progress for the project over a 12-month period. Such planning must be fully subject to the correct sequence of progress, taking into account bottlenecks. During the execution, the percent of actual progress was analyzed at the month number five of the work began. See table number four. This table shows the per percent met by items each month. The estimated progress corresponds to a forecast made before starting the production process or a certain period of time with a goal. Actual progress is historical information obtained as progress is made during the execution of the work, while the estimated progress is a projection. Table number five shows the relations according to the planned percent for the project. The planning is expressed in solace to have the amounts recorded and to be able to control the expenses month by month. In table number six are shown valuations according to the percent actually executed in the project. In table number seven are shown the real costs used from month one to month five since the project execution. The actual cost corresponds to expenses incurred to deploy a service, accurately reflecting the past calculated until project develop, development is complete. The importance of actual costs is that, by understanding them, a sales price limiting the optimal one can be established when it's possible. This allows to maximize profits. As it could be seen in figure number five, the S curve is drawn where the blue curve that represents the program that bends from month one to the month 12. It is only curve that will be completely drawn from the beginning to the end of the term of the work. The red line represents the estimated budget from, num from month one to month five and finally, the green one that represents the real cost and physical progress of the work at month number five after the start of the project. In table number eight, the earned value analysis table is presented where the programming and cost indicators were calculated for the evaluation and analyzed. The schedule variance shows us negative values which means that we are behind in month one to five with respect to what was initially planned. The schedule performance index shows us values below one, which reinforces what is indicated in the schedule variance that we are behind what was initially planned. The cost variance shows us that in months one, two, and five, a money gain is generated according to our progress, but months three and four show us negative values since we are spending more than budget. The cost performance index shows us that in months one, two, and five, the values are above one, which means that we are saving money, but months three and four when indicating values less than one, which means that we are losing money. The estimate of completion shows us the total estimated cost of the project at a cutoff date where it is seen in month one, two, and five. It saves money. 
but if we continue working as in months three and four, we would enter into losses since it would be exceeding the total cost of the budget. Table number nine presents the operation, the operational report analysis table, where the profit to date, the balance and the, and the end of the work and the percentage margin to take the corresponding actions was calculated. According to the calculations made, it can be seen that in months one, two, and five, there is a favorable profit, but in months three and four, there is a decrease because the costs used were higher than expected. By month number five, a profit of 115,851 point Soles was a shift represented by 4.77%. Through the earned value method, it will be taken as the starting point to make project reports. In order to obtain a schedule variance equal to zero in the sixth month, 10% of the basement structure work 40% of the building structure work and 5% of the lift and equipment work must be completed. Achieving a balance of what is planned with what is real in the sixth month, a scheduled performance index equal to one would be obtained validating our planning, our plan schedule. If we continue working according to the fifth month after starting the project by the sixth month, there it would be a saving cost variance of 293,931 represented by approximately 8.38%. The estimate at completion shows us the total estimated cost of the project of the cutoff date that is what if we continued working as seen in months one, two, and five. The company would have profits, but if we continued working as in months three and four, the company would enter a loss, achieving a balance of what was planned with what's real. The sixth month would achieve a profit of 8.38% in the works that are so are to be completed a maximum optimization must be sought since. If we maintain the costs of the remaining balance from month five, we would have a loss of money of 134,176.33 solids. The project would be finishing with a total of 7,034,100 76.33 soles, which represents 1.94%. Thank you.